So I'm about to leave for a charity event literally right now, but as I was taking out this dress last night, I realized I had a problem. It needed a last minute alteration. And welcome to the cocktail dress edition of The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. So yes, I'm, I'm getting all gussied up this evening and headed out to this event here called Tampa Bay Woman of the Year. My friend is a candidate. And I have this snazzy dress on. Now, hold the phone, I, this is not new. I actually bought this dress from like some sort of flash sale like five years ago. I had no idea where I was going to wear it, so I just held on to it and several years later, I actually have use for it. It is Calvin Klein, but when I tried it on, I had a problem. The shoulder straps were really loose on me. I have like no shoulders. I also have a rather small bust, so doesn't help the situation at all. So I realized I needed to shorten the strap. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Now doing this alteration maybe took me about an hour, but I'm also kind of slow. I also had to get some supplies together. And lucky for me, the shoulder straps are pretty wide. So I started off by seam ripping each side of the shoulder strap. I took those apart and then I kind of turned the strap inside out. Now this, this took me a little bit cause I had to do a lot of seam ripping. So I took the main fabric and the facing fabric and the seams were pressed open. I pressed them back closed. Because this fabric does have a tendency to shift quite a bit, I recommend using something like silk pins to keep it all in place until you can get to it with your sewing machine. And then I stitched about a half an inch from the original seam. So I took about an inch off of each shoulder, I know. Yes, small shoulders here. And that wasn't too bad. It took me a little bit to kind of deconstruct the dress. I also had to take out like the, there was like a bra strap holder and there was a another dress strap for some reason. So I took those out. So you may have to look at your garment and try to kind of deconstruct it. So, and there was also some sort of like, I don't know if this was there for more stability. There was like a little tiny like twill twill strapping in there. I'm gonna guess it's for the edges of the straps to maybe, I don't know, keep them from like m becoming misshapen. So I did that, sewed about a half an inch from the original seam, and then I had to put everything back. I cut off the excess seam allowance since I now had a one inch seam allowance. One interesting thing about this dress is that it did not have a 5 8 inch seam allowance all around in the straps. Sometimes it was a half an inch, sometimes it was like as little of a, as a quarter of an inch. Luckily, this fabric doesn't seem to fray very much. There was also some stabilizer on one half of the straps so that was also a plus. Once I stuffed the straps like back in, I ended up having to hand sew both sides and that took another, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. I did it while I was watching some YouTube videos so it didn't feel like it was that much time. And here is the finished shoulder strap. I think it looks pretty decent. You can't really tell there was an alteration done on it. And this was a little easier than I thought. I was always kind of intimidated by straps. I thought they would be really hard and it looked kind of complicated. But when you just kind of take the dress apart, it's not that bad. So give it a try if you're intimidated and feel free to ask me any questions you would like in the comments. And hopefully I will be inserting some photos in here from the event for you to check out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing to The Sewing Report for everything sewing crafts and DIY projects. I'm Jennifer Moore and I'll see you again in the next video.